Here we have a VTI or D16Y8 intake manifold. The P2K casting is rare times that we get to do this, so we made a video just for you guys. It was perfect. We cut the platinum open, started shaping with the carbide first, as everyone knows, and now of course we go with the 80 grit and then 120 grit. Of course, as many of you guys noticed, we guide, we take you guys on the all the process from the beginning to shaping it. To actually get into the finish and show we show you every single angle that we do like this yes and you can see here it's almost done so let's go and do it from the start all the way to the finish let's go let's go yeah <laughs> up with a marker where we're gonna cut through and through across the plenum so we can port it there you can see that we got cut it with an air saw and then here we've done it we started with a carbide you can see we're getting the shape there it's getting closer but it's you know it's still we've just started so you try to remove the bumps and also the core shift and of course the casting surfaces where it mates from the upper casting and lower casting and here now the first pass on the 80 grit you can see it's starting to lose the bumps and you know the lines but of course we still gotta work on it some more but yep and here we've cleaned it up and put it on the workbench for you guys to see as you can see it's still 80 grit and of course the shape is starting to look visible or or, or on how we're trying to get the shape to how we want it you can see and here from the sh from the angle from where the throttle is coming in with the air you can see the runner entries are almost like a velocity stack so now let's go again for another round of, of 80 grit and this time we're spraying the lubricate lubricant even more and this for now because it's summer here it's a mix of 50 percent ethyl alcohol and 50 percent soapy water because when we made the alcohol uh, to 70%, it would evaporate too fast because it's summer here and it's humidity is so high. So we made it 50-50 for now. As you can see, we're trying to work every single runner entry. Let me show you closer. Oh yes, starting to look even better than earlier, but it's still far from how we want it. So now let's invert the manifold so we can work on the upper entry. Well, you know, it's the upper, but it's inverted right now. So it's the floor, but this is the roof entry. We get the expansion equal. Let me show you here. Oh, it's starting to look good, right? Yes, it's going to get even better as we continue some more. So, yep, here we go. We continue this, we go back to the earlier position. We invert it again here. So another round, this is the second round, or actually the third round of 80 grit. It's still 80 grit because you can we can jump to 120 grit, but it's gonna take even longer. So we stay with 80 grit until I can no longer feel the bumps or, you know, sh uh, core shift then I can go to 80 grit, but for now I can still feel it. So we continue with 80 grit and we just continue to lubricate it well. This way the finish is starting to show us if it's consistent or not, because as you can see, the light glare, the reflection, that shows you if there's bumps or not. Or if there's bumps or ridges that you can't really see, but the light would show you. Let's should go closer. But before that, hit the like button. This way it gives a lot of more activity in the algorithm will pick up the video and spare it to a wider audience and that helps the channel even better. So let's grow. And yes, so hit the like button. This helps a lot. Thank you for that. Really appreciate that. And of course, if you haven't subscribed, this way you get updated with whenever we have a new upload. So you can check it out and enjoy other stuff. But of course, and also, with the other videos that we have like this here, you might like it for like, for example, here, a VTI head that we ported the video of that. And of course the evolution of our port finish on the intake manifold, the changes that we did. Yes. And dyno sessions of single overhead and dock engines. 
even a dinosaur session of an intake that I did that gave a surprising result, yes, you know you're gonna subscribe, right? Let's go. Oh yeah, it's starting to look good, right? Yep. Okay, now let's wash this up and let's bring it to the workbench to show you guys. Oh, it's starting, it's starting to look really, really good, right? It's really far from how it was when you started. Oh, yeah. And you can see it's starting to look like a velocity stack, each runner entry, right? Yes. This is to make the intake manifold even more efficient than how it is stock. It may not, you know, match up with the Skunk 2 intake manifold, but versus stock, this is going to be way, way better. And even more efficient let's see the inverted side the back side here oh yes you can see we're trying to flare up each runner entry this way it may make a velocity stack so the you know the flow entry is going to be more efficient so every work motion of an of the engine of the, of the crank we induce more air that's making it more efficient you see the angle here from the throttle it bends down to runner number four as you can see the entry is starting to look like a velocity stack right oh yeah that's looking good looking good and you notice the more we shape the runner entries the more plenum volume we get and let me show you this angle let's turn it now here this is the we, have, we gotta smooth that out, but once the platinum is welded and we port matched it with a 60 millimeter B16 throttle, you can see the runner entry number four. Oh, that's a velocity stack, right? Yes, and all together here on top. Oh, yeah. But, but you know, when I run my hands through it, through the surface, I can still feel some bumps and ridges, so it needs a few more passes, but. It's getting close to how we like it, right? Okay, now let's head back to the parting match and continue. Let's go. Here we are. And actually, we did a few touches before recording. And we, you can see we, on the perimeter, we used the marker to show us the actual perimeter. And we widened it, the entry, and smoothed it out. As you can see now, the runner entries are wider all to the base of the plenum. Yes, now we're going to make another pass, but this time with 120 grit. As you can see, the shine is still dull, but the finish is getting a little bit more different, more consistent, and more of a little finer finish. Yes, this is 120 grit. We still use the lube. As you know, each runner, we spray lube. This way, it's, you know, completely lubed because, you know, after a few passes, it dries up. Or if you do it and then go to the runner after, it dries up quicker. So let me show you up close now. Oh, yeah. Look at that. You can see the marker is still there, the perimeter. So we made sure we could marker it. This way it's going to be consistent and, you know, equal all around. So, yep, this is so good. We're going to make a few more passes with 120 grit, maybe two or three more passes to get the finish that we want. And of course, after that, we're gonna wash this up with water. Let's go to workbench now. And oh, would you look at that? Oh yeah, yes sir, yes sir. You can see the finish is a lot better now, a lot better and different because it's 120 grit. Oh yeah, oh, would you look at that? See that? That's a velocity stack, right? Yes, yeah, so the runner entries are like a velocity stack. It's looking really good. And we know this is going to be even more efficient. Yes, velocity stack right there. It's going to be flowing efficiently, giving better fuel consumption and, of course, performance and response. Okay, now let's look at it from this angle here, from the back side. Oh, yeah. And yes, we're going to port... The rest of the runners when we port match this we can port we can port all the way through until like they're six inches inside so it's definitely gonna be you know through and through and all throughout the runner yep yes the runner entries are like just looking good this angle again yes can't get over the fact that it actually looks like a velocity stack like a bunch of velocity stack right yep it's gonna flow really good 
and the port finish of the 120 grit is really really good here you can see the texture is good consistent and of course the curvature is really good now let me throw in sorry the shaky phone just using my hand because here's a 90r throttle so this is a 62 millimeter we're gonna port match this manifold to 60 millimeter because it's gonna run a b16 throttle so you can see the difference there it's just a little bit but you still have to port match that because it's it's abrupt it bumps it bumps or it becomes a hindrance to flow so once we port match it to 62 millimeter or 60 millimeter then we can continue uh, making the transition from the throttle all the way to runner number four more consistent but you can see here the shape is already good right so we're just gonna do a bit more touch up on when we port match the throttle we're gonna do that well of course was the plenum's welded and look at those transition oh yeah the runner entries are so good are shaped really well this is gonna be an ultra efficient intake manifold stock vti d16y8 intake manifold yep this is so good this, this is of course you're gonna perform even better if you go with a skunk too but this when you have to stay with stock here let me put the plenum this we're gonna have it welded like this so it's gonna you know gonna be back to stock right and of course you can finish it with you know we you can sandblast it or do a wrinkle finish but here let me show you here on this angle once it's welded you can still see the insides right yep yeah. but let's remove it for now let me show you oh yeah velocity stacks right there yes sir yes sir so this is gonna be good and the port finish or the yeah the surface finish is actually really really good it's not too smooth it's not mirror smooth but it's really consistent it's gonna be good for flow yes that's like a velocity stack looking entry right yes sir okay this is gonna be good it's gonna be performing good it's gonna be on a good vti the owner is from iloilo so he's gonna enjoy this and of course there's a, this video here you can check it this is where we do the transition and of course as mentioned the z6 po8 intake manifold click it here